Um, okay, so moving on, we're going to go to someone who I have great trepidation about introducing because Dr. Chuck always does something dramatic. Um, but uh, our next our next presenter is Dr. Chuck uh, Charles Severance from the University of Michigan, and he's he's giving us a peek into the crystal ball to see the future of the learning tools interoperability (LTI), which I'm very excited to learn about. So, Dr. Chuck, you may have the floor. Just got our owl microphone thing. Or is it working, Christina? Are we up? Yeah. Yep, we can hear you. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to, we're using the owl so you can kind of see everybody here from the lake house. Uh, and then I am going to uh, present my screen. So, let's just see if it all works. Entire screen. Tell me if you can see my screen. Looks like you can see my screen. OK, so now I'm going to start with the PowerPoint presentation and then I am going to uh, do a little demo. Uh, why does it not want to go full screen? That's OK. We will not have it go full screen. OK, so the title of the talk is A Peek into the Crystal Ball to See the Future of Learning Tools Interoperability. And uh, the agenda is I'll give you a really quick history of LTI. Uh, when you get old, that's, you start all talks with a bit of history. Uh, this, is, this is stuff in a sense that uh, is not yet published IMS specifications. Um, and then I'm going to do a demo of stuff that's not yet published IMS specifications. So just, just to kind of give you a, a brief history, LTI, Learning Tools Interoperability, which is probably the single most influential standard in educational technology these days, um, we invented it. Sakai invented it in 2004, and we have been at the forefront of it. And so we have built reference implementation, sample code. We are open source. So we find ourselves at the, the nexus of uh, this whole marketplace. I will let you know that there, the LTI working group has been very, very busy. Here's a sort of rough timeline. In the old days, 2010, now 11 years ago, we, we built LTI 1.0, which was literally after six years of struggle, thrown away versions, nasty stuff. It used this XML. I Thankfully, I got it to not use SOAP. Um, but the first LTI in 2010 had no grades. And then in 2011, we added the simple basic outcomes. And that LTI 1.1 is the reason that I made the tattoo and you see a little picture there of me with the, only the Blackboard and D2L tattoo. Um, and then after 2011, we were like, let's make this better. And so we came up with this thing called LTI 2.0, which was put into Sakai. Um, that was a dumpster fire. Uh, it was a terrible spec. Um, it was not my fault. Uh, I told people, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. No, don't do that, don't do that. That's stupid. And, uh, and they didn't listen to me. And, uh, and I was right. Uh, and so LTI 2.0 has literally been removed from almost every LMS that I know of. Blackboard removed it. We've removed it in Sakai 21. It certainly it's gone in 22. So uh, LTI 2.0 is the specification that is never mentioned, right? So we're, we're even afraid sometimes to increase the LTI 1.3 version number. That's, so, so we went back from 1.1 to 1.3 as if LTI 2.0 had never existed. But then we still needed to come up with something better. And they don't like, people didn't like the security. The OAuth 1 stuff is like out of date, Java Web Tokens. And so LTI Advantage came out. And the coolest thing about LTI Advantage was that there was a great book service, a names and master service, and all that kind of stuff. And you didn't get the, you didn't, you didn't get the sticker if you didn't do all those. And so we went from a thing where I had to put a tattoo on my shoulder to the point where all the major LMSs before the spec came out released the feature, released support for it. And so that made LTI like just on fire basically. And since 2019, so we're two years in now, it is LTI has been on fire since then. And there are one to three meetings a week where the all the players are at the meetings. We invent something and someone goes and implements it. And that's what you're going to see in the demo is stuff that was invented and proposed and I just go off and implement it even before the spec comes out. And so we're in an interesting high rate of innovation in LTI. 
we kind of lost some inertia the last six to nine months because there is a uh, security hole that I kind of consider as a stupid security hole. We, never mind. I, I can go on and on and on. Maybe when I write the book, uh, Chris, I will uh, talk about the stupid security hole that we wasted six months filming. Uh, don't tell any IMS people that I called it a stupid security hole because security people get all excited. So this is not security hole. This is preview of coming attractions. So there is two features that are coming out. One is a grading workflow feature. And Sakai is the first LMS to do this. And, and, and it talks about what's called activity progress and whether something's initialized, started, in progress, submitted, or completed. And then grading progress, separate from activity progress. The grading is, is it pending a grade? Is it manually graded? Has the grade failed? Is it not ready to be graded? Failed and fully graded. Now, the funny thing about this is Sakai is the first LMS to have implemented this. It was written some time ago. And it actually, I don't know how it happened, but it is almost exactly how Sakai the assignments workflow works. And so I, I'm reading this spec and I'm like, oh, this is going to be bad because I'm always mapping what LTI does to what Sakai does. And in this case, I'm like, crap, it's almost like the names of the constants are the same. And then there's this other thing. And in Sakai, we've always had this turn it in code. And if you've ever looked at the coded assignments, it's got like 400,000, half a million lines of code that are turn it in, turn it in, turn it in. Content review, when we did Verisite, there was this thing called content review. And so these were all proprietary ways to plug into assignments workflow. Well, LTI now has soon a thing called submission review. And that is a workflow that fits. And the key thing that it does is it is a new kind of a launch where Sakai can tell the tool, I'm coming to this URL, which is a different than the launch URL. And I would like to see the in individual detail of this particular user. So if you think about Sakai Grader and you're, you're paging through the users, LTI now understands which user you're looking at. And you'll see that in a second. And again, it blows me away how I ignored these specs as they were drafts. I'm still the first one implementing this stuff and it fit into Sakai's existing assignments thought process. So let's do a demo. And I've been spending too much time getting all the technology here working at the lake house. So I apologize in advance if the demo blows up, but let's hope that the demo doesn't blow up. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so first I got to uh, thank uh, Andrea and Wilma at least once more many times because if it weren't for Wilma who uh, who took a look at the oh, here we go I was not I'm not even done yet so if it wasn't for Wilma who sort of showed me the beauty of assignments I always thought assignments was something I would never use as a teacher because I always use LTI for everything and I build assignments I literally build assignments code outside of LMS so that I can control how it works. That's how picky I am. But then Wilma's like, look, you just make this work and this work and this work. And I like, well, let me let me just see if that would work. And then and then I it worked. And I'm like, okay. She's like, try. she's like, well, how, how about this? I'm like, geez, Wilma, you're so demanding. And so she just walked me through all these things that assignments was capable of doing. And then I'm looking at this spec and I didn't write the spec right and I don't use assignments and um Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> um, and so, it, uh, thanks, Wilma, and thanks, Andrea, for patiently testing it. When I sent some pretty broken stuff out, and Andrea patiently tested it. Okay, so here is an assignment. It's an LTI-based assignment. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, <coughs> see if this works. I've got, I'm logged in as. Okay, so this person, I think, is logged in in this future LTI. So I've got an assignment as a teacher. There it is, sticky grader one. And um, I, let me get to the student. So the student goes into assignments and they haven't started it. And so this is all the stuff I was talking about, like the, the status, right? There are things now in LTI that love, let the tool communicate to Sakai about this. So I'm going to do this sticky grader. And and you see the assignments workflow. And for many of you who've used this product for years, this is like, wow, I'd, I'd never use this. So then we're going to run the tool. That's a debug launch. And this tool is a tool that um, that I wrote. It's a Sugi tool. And the idea is, is that the students are supposed to upload a PDF 
And then between the teacher and the student, they can annotate this PDF. And so let me just upload a PDF and submit it. Now inside this, this is an iframe right now. This is an iframe. And so I'm gonna add a sticky thing. This is my submission. Okay. So I just put, and there's these sticky notes and they can go around and let's add another sticky note. Second note. And the idea was, is that this is to give a thing where you're turning in a piece of paper and the teacher and the student can communicate with sticky notes. So let's take a look. You need at to wrap up this. too, Dr. Chuck. <laughs> I got to wrap up? <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Hear my alarm. Yep, that's okay. So we'll give you another few seconds. We're going to do this. You go into the grader and you see the student submission. And so I can now annotate that student submission as the teacher. And then I can uh, go back and send a grade 99%. I'm in, this is a tool, and then I can send that. And so, uh, so that is my demo. Uh, let's see, I think I'm all done. Yeah, this, this is gonna be in Sakai 21 and 22. Uh, and uh, thanks, thanks to Wilma and Andrew for helping me with all this. And now I will give back, stop sharing. Thank you, sir. And you always leave us wanting more. I was going to, I'll tell you the story about the uh, HVAC uh, LTI tool that we discovered. That's another day, Chuck. Uh, so meanwhile, we need to move on.